Good morning, guppies. The sun's not up yet, so if you guys are ready to feed, I'm going to teach you how to take a used IKEA cabinet, hack it apart, try to stuff a bunch of your photography gear on it. Shoot this motherfucker! Living in New York City presents a ton of storage challenges when you live in apartments the size of prison cells with no closet space. So I've had to utilize literally every inch. Pretty much mounted shelves on everything. I've given up on any kind of interior decorating. So this cabinet was pretty cheap. I picked it up Facebook Marketplace last year for around 20 bucks. I also ordered Alexa enabled smart LED strips to line the back of the cabinet. The shelves I pretty much just made out of scrap plywood from other projects around the house. I always save any kind of scrap wood that's about large enough to become surface space. So all of my um, collapsible backdrops are collapsed, folded in their bags. They're tucked on the side of it and they're hung on there with a few uh, coat hanger brackets that I got off of Ikea. The left side is where I think I place the most shit in and that's where everything I access pretty much on a daily basis goes in storage. External screens, my drone, all my filters. I use three pegboards from Ikea. There's a charge station in here. So on this main pegboard, there's the cage for my camera. This cage I use to mount to my gimbal. I'm using the DJI Osmo Action and the Insta 361R, which you can get by clicking the link in the description below. Tell them Sean sent you. Next shelf down is predominantly product photography props, random stuff that'll fit in small boxes that we can use to stage uh, flat lays and stuff like that. So in the bottom shelf, I have these stacking DeWalt toolboxes where I keep all my odds and ends. Any tools that may have come specifically with certain kinds of camera gear, you know, specialty wrenches and stuff like that. All my peak design capture stuff is in here. All the Osmo Action slash GoPro mounts are in here. The very bottom, um, there's bins in there with all kinds of clamps and magic arms and mounting. It's all small grip stuff. The right side, all my lighting stands and strobes. My Pelican cases have a transportable uh, photography studio in it where I have remote strobes and triggers and stuff in there. My Quasar Science lights are in there in that tactical bag with everything they need. Pretty much my entire apartment is a YouTube set. There's definitely not any lounge space to put a couch here. It's pretty much my workspace with two bedrooms. Less than a hundred bucks into this cabinet, combining like the LED strips, brackets, and you know, the toolboxes. I'll make sure to link everything in the description below. I firmly believe that the best way to financial freedom and wealth is living within your means. And the best way to build habits doing that is not to spend money needlessly. Every time I set up a product shoot in my apartment, I break something and it's becoming incredibly frustrating considering that we're still locked in our houses. I hope this gave you some ideas for some IKEA hacks and some storage solutions. If you attempt this at home, please make sure you're in the presence of an adult while operating power tools. There is nothing more satisfying than doing things yourself. I will see you guys next week. I don't think I launched a tutorial. I'm gonna go work on that. You can follow me on my main Instagram here, or you can follow me on Bullshark here. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thanks for all the comments and suggestions that I've been reading. I have been working on some VFX. I'm doing a lot of VFX practice. So if you'd like to see some breakdowns and I have anybody that's on here that's using After Effects, let me know in the comments section below and uh, start posting some of that stuff. Catch y'all next week.